It's back. It's back. It's back. It's back. It's back, Turner Overdrive. No, it's Jazz Camp West, but it is back for the first time in two years, for the first time live in three years. Uh, but what's also back, uh, very unexpectedly, is the rain. Funnily enough, the rain stopped shortly after I recorded that clip. Um, anyway, uh, it's uh, currently the first night. We just had the first faculty concert, in which the faculty members are basically just put together into ensembles and uh, made to come up with uh, something eight minutes long. Here's a picture of what I consider the most eclectic uh, group, if nothing else, because it had Jenny Scheinman and Samara Atkins. I mean, that covers a lot of ground in itself. Anyway, next up is the first full day. All right, it's the end of day one. Well, not the end, the evening. Um, and I've had all my classes and seen the first open mic. I'm once again taking Julie Wolf's Reimagining Iconic Songs class. Um, I'm taking Juvino Santos Neto's class on the music of Hermeto Pascual, uh, his mentor. Um, those are um, definitely the two most... In oh, I'm also taking uh, Mark Rosenthal's Steel Pans class as well. Um, so, so tomorrow... Less shots of me talking, uh, more shots of the action. Okay, it's Saturday night and they're resetting the stage for the Latin big band. The gospel choir was just on. Uh, we killed it. 
and uh, we're gonna kill it in the Funk Ensemble too. Uh, we're masking up now, uh, just because this is when uh, we have a few uh, guest audience members and stuff. All right, it's over a week later. Um, took me about a week to unwind from all those performances. I, uh, I haven't done that much playing with other people in uh, quite a while, years maybe. So on Sunday morning, uh, I performed with uh, the music of Hermeto Pascual class. We did a tune called Machichada como Broba, which is Portuguese for Max Sixth with a Broba. No, it's not. Uh, a never before played tune. Uh, and then in the Reimagining Iconic Songs class, we did uh, my 7 8 arrangement of Love is the Seventh Wave by Sting. Julie played drums on it just because. I had trouble playing and singing at the playing, singing and directing at the same time. I only directed because it was my idea. And then the uh, the seal drum classes also performed. I sat that one out, but only because I performed uh, four times. Plus, I did an open mic. Uh, I'll be posting that sometime after this goes up. As I mentioned before. Uh, I was in the All Camp Gospel Choir and the Funk Ensemble. Uh, thankfully, those two didn't perform back to back. There was the Latin Big Band in between them. Kind of a funny thing about the Funk Ensemble is that um, as, um, as our intro, we did a, a short version of if I'm in luck, I might get picked up by Betty Davis. And initially we transposed that down into the same key as You Got the Love by Rufus, which we were gonna go into straight from that. Uh, but then we decided to go into Fight the Power by the Isley Brothers, which is in a different key and put You Got the Love at the end. So um, we, kinda, we kinda changed the key of picked up for nothing. Kind of a funny story is that while we were uh, setting up. Colin Hogan and I were uh, sharing the uh, the acoustic piano, which has a really gorgeous bass tone in the main amphitheater, uh, but we were sharing that and his, uh, his Nord. So I was starting on the Nord. Nick asked me to give him a level, so I, I played something and I could kind of hear it, but not really. So I turned around to ask him if it was good and he was gone. So I turned it up a bit so I could hear it. And part of me was dreading an experience that I had twice at two of my recitals at Berkeley, where I didn't properly communicate with whoever was doing sound there. So I turned my keyboard up to the point where I could hear it. But then I ended up just completely drowning out the rest of the band uh, from where the audience was sitting. And you know, what the audience hears is the important part. Fortunately, that did not happen at jazz camp this year. I mean, why would it? We've got Nick Reeves doing sound. But I was a little worried that I turned up the keyboard to the point where it sounded just right from where I was, but it was completely blasting everyone else's ears off. And I wasn't quite sure where the monitors were. So uh, when it came time to trade places with Colin and he complimented me, part of me was like, oh, you could hear me. And then when we started off the next number, I was like, yeah, you could. Fortunately, I talked to Julie Wolf the next morning and she said both of us were, and were at a good volume. Another thing that uh, happened during the week, uh, which not a lot of people talked about, but I really liked, was Amy Molinelli's performance at Ohlone Ball. She did a piece she'd written called uh, Hopscotch and um, she played uh, pandeiro or tambourine, uh, and John Santos played conga, and Ana Bajero played kick and snare. And it is the most composed sounding non classical percussion piece I've ever heard. Another highlight was during the dance performance, which happens 
before the music performances on Saturday night was little experimental thing that Mara Hancock, Gabe Porter, and Isaiah Harwood did. They're, um, they're even younger than me, but unlike me, they actually look young. Gabe prefaced it by talking about, I'm, I do not have his words, but he mentioned that it was sort of in the experimental spirit that, that often comes to people at jazz camp. Once again, I'm probably leaving out some key words. I almost, I almost mentioned his speech in my introduction to the Reimagining Iconic Songs class performance, but, um, but Julie Wolf ended up introducing the class, which I think is all for the better because even if I was the main arranger on the song we ended up playing, it's ultimately her class. So Jazz Camp West is happening next year, same week as this year, mid-June. Uh, if you can, I strongly encourage you to come, especially if you have at least a mild appreciation of jazz. It's all levels, adults of all ages and older teens. There's also Jam Camp West for younger teens. Uh, I haven't been, so I can't speak much on that. If you're an adult or an old teen, I strongly encourage you to come to Jazz Camp West. And it's an all levels thing. There are people better than me, people worse than me, uh, people who don't particularly play an instrument or sing. And yeah, so I will be uh, uploading my open mic performance from this year uh, and from the and from the jazz fest they put on last year. So look forward to those. But until then, stay dangerous.